dos. You do the Spanish. Okay. One. Uno. Two. Dos. Three. Tres. Four. Cuatro. You got it. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. We are cuatro gatos. Adios. with a 
close one. <laughs> this Blue Jay's nest is empty. Empty is a word that means when something, like a nest, doesn't have anything in it. There are zero birds in the nest. Let's see what happens when he invites his bird friends over. One fine evening, a blue jay at a party. Nine birds all together, blue jay and his friends. The nest was full and everyone had a good time. Now they say good night, farewell, and see you again. The robin flew away into the night. The pigeon hailed the cab and was out of sight. The penguin put a hat on and skied away. The duck put on a jetpack, waved goodbye to blue jay. There were nine birds in the nest, but now there are five. Is it empty yet? No! That's right! The toucan grabbed a skateboard, and so did the crane. The peacock grabbed a ladder and was carried away. There was a guest left, and she was a flamingo. Who jumped out of the nest, but she was okay. The blue jay waved goodbye to his guest. Then he looked around and saw a phone in his nest. Looks like Mr. Robin left it here by mistake. I'll fly it back to him, I hope he's still awake. Take a look at the nest now. How many birds are left? Zero! That's right. So, is the nest empty now? Yeah! All right! <laughs> one little chick, one. Ready for some fun. Looking for the crew. <laughs> three little chicks, three. Jump and hop with glee. Four little chicks, four. Dancing on the floor. One. Two, three, four. Four! Come on, dinosaurs on your feet. Let's take a walk on Sesame Street. Fluff your feathers and move your wings. Let's go do some dinosaur things. Follow me across the floor and go tweet, tweet. Roar, roar, roar! Tweet, tweet! Roar, roar, roar! Flap, flap, and stomp some more. Flap, flap, and stomp some more. Now you're walking with a dinosaur. Now you're walking with a dinosaur. Kenny and Tara just Elmo loves walking with a dinosaur. Then let's walk some more. Walk with me right down the street. With a roar and a tweet, tweet, tweet. Now flap and stomp some more. You're walking with a dinosaur. Come on. Tweet, tweet, roar, roar, roar. Tweet, tweet, roar, roar, roar. Flap, flap, and stomp some more. Flap, flap, and stomp some more. You're walking with a dino. Walking with a dino. Walking, walking with, with a dinosaur. dinosaur. Hi. Elmo's going to show all the ways that Elmo is just the same as Miss Chicken here. <laughs> okay. Oh, and that's the first one, clucking. <laughs> Well, well, Elmo talks, and chickens can't talk, so that's different. But Elmo can cluck just like a chicken. Watch this. Cluck, 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 cluck. Almost the same, huh? Ah, good point. Mrs. Chicken has wings, and Elmo has arms, which is different. But Elmo can flap Elmo's arms like they were wings, like this. Flap, 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 flap. Oh, how about that? Just the same as a chicken, huh? Mark, mark, mark. Uh huh. Another thing that is the same. Mark, mark, mark. Oh, Mrs. Chicken breathes and Alma breathes too. Like this. <sighs> Boy, Mrs. Chicken didn't know we're the same in so many ways, huh? Mark, 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 mark. Big, 
Well, Mrs. Chicken got Elmo with that one, because Elmo killed Little Ned. <laughs> so that is really, really different. What? But sometimes it's great to be the same, and it's great to be different. What? What? So let's celebrate being both the same and different. What? What? Okay, uh, Mrs. Chicken, do you know the Funky Chicken? Well, let's do it! Okay. It's for counting. <coughs> counting. Well, look at all those cute cats. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cats. There were ten cats all together. Hey, that cat looks like he's up to something. Oh, balls of yarn are in that big basket. Cats love to play with yarn. I hope there's enough balls for all of them. Let's count them to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's enough. Ten balls of yarn for ten cats. Wait, counting. Oh no, my yarn! 
C is for counting. The letter C. Walking the dog. It's fun out walking the dog. Looking around at all we see. On our street walking the dog. Folks we meet walking the dog. They're always sure to say hi. Wandering by each lamppost and tree. They're all out walking the dog. So happy walking the dog. No finer friends or company. When we're out walking the dog. What's best about walking the dog? Is all the doggies and people we meet. My doggie and me. <laughs> And people we meet, my doggy and me. My doggy and me. B is for birds. I love to go looking for birds with my friends. Birds are everywhere. You just have to know where to look. Morning is a great time to find them. That's when they go hunting for seeds and insects. But try and be quiet so you don't scare them away. Birds come in lots of sizes, shapes, and colors. Some birds are small and fly really fast. Some like to hang out and get warm. Other birds love swimming in the water. You can see lots of birds just by watching. A pair of binoculars helps to see the ones that are far away. I like to bring a notebook to draw the birds we see. Birds are my favorite birds. I hope we get to go bird watching again tomorrow. Danielle the dinosaur was shaking her tail, skipping in a park on her favorite trail. Soon she started thinking what fun it would be to meet up at the diner with her pals for a treat. She walked to a diner and the door made a chime. Delicious smells filled her dino mind. Dragon fruit and dandelion, strawberry pie. Sat down at the table, she was ready to die. Dinosaur begins with D. Deceratops, dinochirus, D to D. To grow big and strong, dinos have to die. A yummy meal with all your friends is just divine. Dave was eating dates right along with Sue. With a side of deviled eggs and dill pickles, too. Donna tried the Danish and she shared with them all Everybody smiled, yes, they were having a ball Dinosaur begins with D Deceratops, Dinochirus, D to D Grow big and strong, Donna's have to dine A yummy de meal with all your friends is just divine Dinosaur begins with the letter D F is for frog. 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 We're doing a letter F today. Are you ready? Yeah! Okay, here we go. You can find them in water. You can find them in mud. Frogs love to jump and fill their bellies with bugs. They use their legs to jump high, their tongues to get food. Some can change colors and hide from you. Frog. F is for frog. And froggies are fun. Frogs like to swim and soak up the sun. Frog! F is for frog. They croak and say ribbit. You can find them by ponds or searching for crickets. Frog. F. Frog. F. Frog. F is for frog. Let's flap our wings and fly together, little butterfly friend. Flutter through the sky together, little butterfly friend. We can fly from here to there. We can stop and smell our rose. We can fly. Can land on Elmo.
animal's nose. Oh, hello. <laughs> Let's flap our wings and go together, little butterfly friend. <laughs> Flying high and low together, little butterfly friend. As free as a breeze on a sunny day, we're butterflying all the way. Let's flap our wings and fly! My name is Micah. This is the story of my sister Sadie and her service dog, Solar. Sadie was born with a disease which makes it hard to use her legs. She also has autism, which affects the way she feels and thinks. Solar has a big job. He had special training to help Sadie with lots of things. Solar wears a vest which lets people know he's helping Sadie. No petting him when he's at work. No, 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 we don't pet the dog when he's working. Solar can help Sadie get dressed. Good boy. Sometimes it's hard for Sadie to focus, and Solar is a big help. Sadie likes to rub her toes into Solar's soft fur. Solar helps Sadie stay calm when she goes to the doctor. OK, that sounds good. When Sadie goes to sleep, Solar makes her feel safe by lying down with her. Good night, Mom. I love Solar being a part of our amazing family. D is for dog, service dog. Bert! Hey, Bert, wake uh -huh. up, Bert. Bert. Bert! I'm up, I'm up, Bert. Bert. You'll never believe the dream I just had. <sighs> I bet you're gonna tell me about it, aren't you? Nope, I'm gonna sing about it instead. <laughs> well, I dreamed I was awakened by a rather funny sound. <laughs> so I lifted up my head and I looked all around. Do you know what it was that I saw? <laughs> there were monkeys on my bed right next to me. They were on, they were on, they were on my bed, dancing and prancing all around my head. I decided that I shouldn't stay. So I left the monkeys on the bed so that they could play. Thanks, Ernie! <laughs> now, as I left, I heard a funny sound. I don't think I'd ever heard that sound before. It was coming from my drawer. What could it be? I tiptoed over to the drawer to see. It was in, it was in, it was in my drawer. <gasps> so I took a deep breath and I counted to four. One, two, three, four. And something went up when I opened the drawer. <laughs> It was a long gray trunk of a huge elephant. There's an elephant living there in my drawer. I guess I can't get to my socks anymore because they're in there too. That's a truth, that's firm. My socks are in the drawer with a big old pachyderm. He was in, they were on. Yeah. He was in, they were on, and I tell you it's true. Our room was turning into an in and on zoo. So I sat myself down my aching head and as the chimps danced on <laughs> something moved under the bed from under 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 came a horrible sound from under the bed and on top of the ground I didn't want to see it at least not for a while for out popped the crocodile. One was under two, <laughs> on the other was in. I know it was my room, but I really couldn't win. 
And I thought to myself, they're doing no harm. I'll just change the room to an inn on under farm. <laughs> I know it was a dream bird, but still I wonder. Were there really animals living in, on, and under? Were there really animals living in, on, and under? Don't be ridiculous, Ernie! Uh, Ernie, of course there aren't. It was only a dream. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right, Bert. Oh, well, I'm gonna get breakfast. Oh, I guess I might as well get up, too. Uh, okay, well... Uh, I'll be there a second, Ernie. I just want to get dressed. Ugh. 